job is to protect the bull rider at all costs. But that comes with crack skulls, broken necks. A day at the office for a bullfighter can be deadly. But their greatest fear isn't risking their life. It's making a mistake that could cost a bull rider theirs. Hard to kill. At the big rodeo, everybody's looking at the guy on top of the bull, but very few are paying attention to the bullfighter, the guy that is in there to protect his fellow cowboy, to save his life when something goes wrong. To get a sense of what I'd be facing, I'm at a freestyle event where the bullfighters are judged on their fighting style and skill. Woo! Of course, bullfighting like this didn't really exist in the early days of rodeo. Back in the day, rodeo clowns did it all. They were both comic relief and cowboy protectors. But when cowboys started riding bucking bulls that were bred to be mean, protecting riders became tougher. And the American bullfighter was born. Their sole job is to protect the bull rider at all costs. 30 years ago, the best pro bull riders could hang on for eight seconds around 75% of the time. Now, it's only about 35%. And when the rider's thrown, the bullfighter needs to control all of that power. This is where the pros train. Day one of training is about learning the fundamentals, the footwork that helps a bullfighter control a bull's movements. Most bullfighters today wear chest plates that protect their biggest target, the torso. You just got to remember, it does help and it absorbs a lot, but it still don't make you Superman. Yeah. The wheelbarrow moves just like a bull, so it's the best way to learn the fundamental moves that a bullfighter uses to grab the bull's attention and get in close. The first step is throwing a fake. A 1,500-pound bull's deadliest weapon is its momentum. Going from zero to 35 miles an hour in under three seconds, the bull can hit with almost 6,000 pounds of force. Same as a car going 25 miles an hour. But throwing a fake uses that momentum against him, giving the bullfighter a chance to secure a safer position that takes the horns and bucking back legs out of the equation. It's a step, step through. The step through is all about leading the bull in a tight circle to keep him chasing after you so the rider can get out of there. The other bullfighters will protect Dustin Bowen, a professional bull rider. Be the man, Dustin. Let's do it. Once Dustin's safe, they'll leave me to face the bull alone. Go. Elbow, elbow. All right, all right, all right, go. Go. Go to where he's going. Step up. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good job. You're all right. Good job. Step up. There you go. One more good one on him. Right here. First day, I only had to focus on my footwork and my maneuvers. Day two, this is when you have to do the hardest part of the job, rider protection. When a bullfighter makes himself a human target. Shooting the gap is when the bullfighter puts himself in between the bull and the rider. Running towards a 1,500-pound angry bull goes against every piece of self-preservation I have. But that's the job. Ready to increase the heart pounding a little bit? Hey, go. Hey, go. Hey, go, go. Easy. Slow touch, down. Touch go on. Step up in there. Step up in there. The only way to gain confidence is by doing the reps. So it becomes part of, of the natural response. It becomes instinct. Right, now. Nice. Step in. Good. Up, 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 up. Good job.
jar. He's got a hold of him good. How you feel? Like right riding a tornado. <laughs> <coughs> There are only a few hundred professional bullfighters in American Rodeo because it's a uniquely dangerous job. Go, go! It puts them in between a wild animal and its target. Getting a good read on where the bull's going and where the rider's coming off might determine success or failure in saving a rider's life. If I'm gonna know how to save a bull rider, I have to understand what it's like to be a bull rider. I just had one day left to prove to Rob that I could be trusted to be in an actual rodeo ring. We definitely have to be able to provide ourselves as a target. Rob started me off with some small heifers. The goal is to just focus on what the bull is gonna do and work on my timing and footwork. Right. High performance bullfighting is all about repetition. There you go. It's about doing it hundreds, if not thousands of times so that it can become efficient. So we started with the little ones, but uh, they started getting bigger, they started getting faster, and they started getting way meaner. OK, no tune there. Good. Wait, hey, really good sidestep there. Really good. That was good outside. I started anticipating the bull's movements faster. This lifestyle, this job, these are true masters of their craft. And their craft involves violence and trying to curb this chaos and anarchy in the center of a dirt-filled metal ring. It's humbling. Damn, this is cool. This is cool. You know, I've fought bulls for 27 years. You know, they ask me, they go, why do you do it? I really don't think I could live the rest of my life without rodeo in one way or the other way. That's what we live for. Yeah. It's how we survive. The true test has finally arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, watch your back to see the build the world's most dangerous sporting event. Bull riding. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for bull riding on a Friday. You got it. You got it. Good man. I'd be helping two professional bullfighters. But we're not the only ones in the ring. There's also the straw man, a dummy intended as another target. And then the barrel man, working the padded aluminum barrel in the center of the arena. Bulls are mean in the chute right now. What's going on? As the first bull was loaded into the chute, doubt started to creep in. Let's go now. Be bad now. Hey, watch out. They're coming. <laughs> Right out of the gate, the first rider, he was thrown like a rag doll. It was at that moment where it finally hit. Go on! I have to be out of mind. They're faster, and they're meaner. After they bucked somebody, now they want to fight. That bull was rattling the entire chute. Every time that it moved, you could feel the vibrations move down the fence of the whole arena. You know, this boy was big, bad, and ready to rumble. Go, 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 go! Hey, 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 hey! That guy got hurt bad. He may have a broken rib. It could potentially have a punctured lung. And not being able to stop that bowl, it's, it's the most helpless feeling in the world. Get ready, they're ready. Let's go, get over there. Hey, rub your eyes, get ready for the next one. 
you know, it's hard not to replay it over and over and over again in your head. You know, what did I do wrong? The what ifs, you know, those, those things will just drive you insane. But you gotta snap out of it. You know, the next one's coming. I'm gonna tell you what, nobody else is gonna get hurt tonight. Hurry, hey, come on, get out. He's the baby. See the difference in bulls kind of yeah. scattered around? Yeah. That's a level of, of years on how old them bulls are. There's bulls that want to buck, and there's bulls that want to fight. But here, you got both. You got Fort Worth. Those bulls want to hurt somebody. You guys got a tough job. Yeah. That's what it's you got. It's definitely hard. It can turn bad really, really quick. Those racks are so fast. I have the utmost respect for, for you guys, so. Right, thank you. Thank you for giving me yeah. this opportunity. Thank you. You did good. American bullfighting is as dangerous of a job as you can find. And no amount of training can prepare you for what it's like to be in the ring with a 1,500-pound bull. Go, 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 go! People can get hurt easily. Until you step into the ring with a 1,500-pound angry bull, there's no way that you can grasp just how tough, how resilient an American bullfighter is. It's not just dangerous, it's selfless. Now, these guys are the unsung heroes of the American rodeo. Now, these are the guys that are gonna put their life on the line for their fellow cowboy. Now, they're some of the most courageous, brave, and talented men I've ever met. <laughs> Good job, brother. Good job. 우주에서 가장 재미있는 채널 디스커버리